Mozza uh, has made some special medical experiments in this tour. What do you think about it? The idea and uh, the reaction of the impression um, So far, I mean, there's still one, one concert to come, so maybe it all changes again. <laughs> but no, uh, the audience was, um, I think that they liked it pretty much. Uh, both those who haven't seen us before, like in Siberia, and also those who attended already to other concerts. Um, I think they liked it a lot because it's, uh, I think it's quite also a good, good concept that we put there with this double feature show to um, yeah, to show the different sides of Lacrimosa and to bring the audience through all the years and then through different emotions. And um, I think the reactions are, are pretty fine. I mean, actually better than I thought because um, yeah, everywhere I see small places. The expression in general about the concerts, about uh, bands, about the cities, and uh, maybe some uh, differences uh, this year in the previous. This time we didn't have so much time to, you know, um, see the cities, to, to make sightseeing because we had like eight concerts in nine days, so it was a pretty tough schedule. But um, those few things we, we saw and discovered, they were, they were pretty, pretty nice, especially I was totally surprised about the people from Siberia because, you know, I thought people are, in Siberia are more rough and more tough and actually it was exactly the opposite, they were totally gentle, totally, nearly shy and, and really great people. I totally fell in love with the Siberian audience. The concept in the Nomsk? No, it's Bierska Nomsk. I see. That was my the next question what you have already okay. <laughs> answered this. You know, there is an idea uh, that uh, national cuisine can yeah. tell a lot about the nation, about the people. Uh, have you already tasted uh, the Russian food? I think that you have already tasted, but maybe you have a special food, a previous one from Russia. Uh, yes, I have. That's actually uh, beef stroganoff. Because, like, we also have beef stroganoff in, in, in Germany or Switzerland, but there they do totally different. It's a totally different dish. They still call it stroganoff. But it's totally different made, and when I ate it the first time here, I was totally surprised. But of course, that must be the right case. They do it here, and I really like it a lot. It's, it's totally delicious. The Russian railroad, you have traveling by uh, airplanes uh, and railways. What do you think about Russian railways at this time? When do you think about something when you travel the railroad? It is special. Because on one hand it gives you the, the possibility to see more of the country uh, and, and then you can't of course see anything. Secondly, um, it, you can feel the hugeness of the country much better because you're traveling like uh, 12 hours in the train. Um, for example, in Switzerland when you drive from one part of the country, of the whole country, to the other, it takes like three hours, three and a half hours. So, you know, and that's of course very impressive. I'm totally, totally impressed by that. So I really like traveling by train in Russia um, because we're pretty comfortable and, and um, a good place to, to have a party. Um, so just, the combination between both is actually pretty good. Sometimes flying, sometimes train, travelers, I get along. I will ask you, what uh, role in your life uh, playing the uh, fun clubs? Yeah. I mean, not the present or in the, uh, the emotions. Maybe something uh, special, uh, fun clubs, maybe some ideas uh, for music, maybe. Some, uh, Actually, it's more a. Yeah, it's, it's got more to do with the emotions because when I, when I think of this, the fact that there are people who are. Um, you yeah, are sacrificing their time and sacrificing a lot of um, the, yeah, work and, 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 and skills for supporting our music, supporting our band. 
that makes me totally, um, yeah, it's such a wonderful feeling because it's, it must be love again, otherwise people wouldn't do it. And this, this warms my heart, this is something that I, it's more worth than everything else because if people are doing something out of their love for somebody else, for the music of somebody, it's the most beautiful thing you can discover, therefore I'm totally happy about those countries or those cities, yeah, countries which have strong and active fun. I also had um, in the past years I also had um, other experiences with fan clubs who misused the position of being a fan club, but didn't do actually much, just coming backstage and you know. But those fan clubs actually don't exist anymore. So with those fan clubs that are existing nowadays, they are really supporting the band. And um, by the way, I think you, your fan club, is actually one of the biggest. There are also quite big ones in, in Mexico and uh, Brazil, um, but your fan club is one of the biggest. You know, it is uh, really hard to count the uh, members of fan clubs these days because uh, five or six years ago, uh, you have a fan club, you have a domain name, you have your uh, own store, yeah. and you uh, can understand how many people uh, are in fan club. But uh, these days there are a lot of uh, social networks like Facebook, like Contact uh, in Russia, uh, and uh, of course we have pages on all these uh, social networks, but it, it is very really, uh, hard to count. Uh, we have in social networks, it's not the fan clubs, it's common community. So, uh, we are talking a little bit here in the special because the fun group was based 10 years ago. Uh, maybe you remember the moment when you heard or find something about the first moment. I don't know if that was the very first I remember when I met you the first time and um, that you told me about the fan club that must have been might, it might be that somebody from Ireland told me that there's something um, existing but um, for me that the job when you when you came and, and told about you know, told about the, the fan club it was actually the first uh, time and um, some years ago, I remember we were in the basement of the club um, on Rock, and there we've been talking a lot about your fan club, and you explained me detailed what your ambitions are, and I was very impressed by that. It was many years ago, and uh, the concept this year. How do you feel the difference, uh, the changes in Russia? Russian people, the first time? Yeah, totally positive. Uh, when we came the first time, I had the feeling that some people didn't really know how to... They didn't know us as persons, how we react on stage and, and so on. They didn't know how to, to handle us, how to deal with us. And I remember after our very first concert in Russia, it was in Moscow, in, in um, uh, Kuban, Kubanova. Yeah. And then afterwards we wanted to do, we wanted to give some autographs and everybody was like, you can't do that. That's, that's maybe possible in other countries, but not in Russia. And we said, I can't do that. So we, we had like two uh, vans, cars, big cars, and in the middle, some uh, tables where we... I remember that one. Yes. Yeah. And then the people were waiting in the night. Uh, yeah, exactly. And then people were pushing the vans, and, and at a certain point, security said, no, just stop. It's, 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 it's becoming chaos. So, for example, that got much much better, of course. Uh, we continue doing, doing autograph hours, like tonight, we also want to do one again. I think the people are much more calm nowadays. They know better how to handle a cremosa and uh, they, it's, it's more family nowadays. They know us, we know them, um, and there's much more trust between each other. So um, it totally changed and it uh, changed totally into a positive direction. Uh, on each concert during this year, during the previous uh, years. Maybe uh, it's not just in Russia, I think that uh, other countries, other fan clubs also organize flash mobs. 
Maybe uh, there was your uh, concert. Actually, the the one first to, to tell uh, Russia is pretty much um, the only one doing flash mobs. There are not so many other audiences doing that. So that's really something unique in Russia, and I find it totally great. I've been now uh, posting some some things about it on, on, on our Facebook page. And I wonder now if the other countries want to compete with Russia and also start doing now flash mobs. <laughs> Let's see. It's, it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be fun to see. But um, on this tour now, especially the very first flash mob, actually, um, <laughs> that was the one that impressed me the most and touched me the most because first I didn't think of that there would be flash mobs, and secondly, it was such a great idea. People had masks from the Harlequin, so I came. I came on stage and I saw the audience and I looked into yeah the best and the most audience I ever I've ever seen. It was really cool. Still gets to the skin. Uh, the, the beautiful architecture of St. Petersburg. Next year is uh, 25 uh, years. Uh, could you expect? Uh, I'm working on a new album, in fact. Um, one song is completely recovered already, and um, uh, actually, uh, that, was, that was really funny. Um, or actually, also impressive. After so many years to discover something like that, I, I wrote a song and, 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 and recorded it. And then I, when it was ready, I realized it, it's good, but there's more in this song that I can still dig deeper. I started all over again, and it became a totally, just the second version became a totally huge orchestra uh, epic now. Um, so to compare both versions, um, that was totally fascinating. So I'm in the middle of the production, as you see. I'm, I'm really, yeah, uh, to be fascinated about what's happening there, and I hope to get it ready, of course, to release it next year for the anniversary. Oh. About concerts, I don't know yet. And especially for me, uh, you have two uh, albums. Uh, uh, Why only two? <laughs> I never find the time to continue, but um, also there. There's a new song existing that I wrote um, this year, actually. Yeah. I just don't find the time to finish the album, but there will be definitely, there will be coming a, a new Snake Skin album. Yeah, great. Thank soon, hopefully. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you, and hey, guys, I want to say yeah, really from the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything you did for us. <laughs> and I'm really, really <laughs> very impressed <laughs> by you. Okay. Oh, great. So, yes. please we all appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.